Brad Newberg of SB Nation Fantasy here, talking with Neil Kulong of Behind the Steel Curtain, our Steelers blog, for our Fantasy Friday, where we ask a couple of quick hit questions of one of our NFL bloggers. We actually had last week a Steeler running back with almost all the carries and 100 yards rushing. Is this it? Is Jonathan Dwyer the Steeler running back we can rely on in fantasy, or is Mendenhall going to come back and screw this whole thing up? The answer to that is no and yes. No, Jonathan Dwyer will not be the main feature back in Pittsburgh for the rest of the season because Richard Mendenhall will eventually come back from the injuries that have held him out this season. And when he does, it's likely that he will be the feature back and not Jonathan Dwyer or Isaac Redman. However, you can expect all three of them to have something of significance within Todd Haley's run-by-committee approach offense, but it doesn't appear that any of them will have any more significant carries than anybody else. It might change up from game to game depending on the matchups, but the main thing that you need to look out for from a fantasy perspective is the injury situation with all of them. They've all missed time this season with injuries, uh, whether of the nagging variety or something a little bit more serious. And each one of them has shown in the past, if not just this season, that they can step up and be a featured back within the offense. But week to week, you really don't know who that's going to be. So going with Steelers running backs heading into the second half of the 2012 season is going to be kind of tough, but you can still get some value out of them on a per game basis. Antonio Brown has had either four receptions or seven receptions in every single game this year. Which will it be this week? Yeah, it's weird how that works. It has been only six, only four catches or seven catches this season. He's averaging six in wins and five in losses. I'm not sure if any of those particularly mean much, but the Steelers' passing offense this year is very, very balanced. Antonio Brown leads the team with 40 catches. Mike Wallace has 36, and Heath Miller has 31. All of them are top 30 in the NFL, but none of them have an average higher than 12.8 yards. Brown has 12 yards himself and only one touchdown this season. So it, it, it's plain and obvious the Steelers' offense wants to move the ball around to all of their dynamic receivers. If you add Emmanuel Sanders into that group as well, it's probably the deepest receiving group in the league. So the key thing for this weekend uh, for the Steelers will be to get Brown and Wallace the ball, two playmakers inside a defense that can give up a lot of, a lot of big plays going for the big play of their own. Giants are one of the top playmaking defenses in football, but Antonio Brown's quickness and speed on the outside and ability to elude tacklers will give the Steelers something of an advantage heading into this game. And playing on the road, they're going to need it. So look for Brown to get the ball maybe even more than seven times. He might be you know, looking to break a trend or something this week.